At the conclusion of the meeting, the advisory committee had a robust discussion about whether boosters should be available for those at high risk of COVID because of occupational or institutional risk. People like healthcare workers, teachers, frontline responders, essential workers, and those in congregate settings. The result of their discussion was a close vote. Had I been in the room and on the committee, I would have voted yes. And that is reflected in my resulting decision to allow the use of Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 booster dose for those 18 and older at high risk of COVID-19 exposure and transmission because of occupational and institutional exposure. As CDC director, it's my job to recognize where our actions can have the greatest impact. In a pandemic, we most often take steps with the intention to do the greatest good, even in an uncertain environment. And that is what I'm doing with these recommendations. I want to be clear, we will not boost our way out of this pandemic. Infections among the unvaccinated continue to fuel this pandemic, rise, resulting in a rising number of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths where people are unvaccinated. The most vulnerable are those unvaccinated. If you are not vaccinated and eligible, I encourage you to get vaccinated to protect your community, your family, and yourself.